Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and in this video we are going to see some questions for part 3 of term and revision for grade 5 and these questions I have taken from your math reveal book of Ministry of Education. Let's start the lesson. See, some questions can be like Khalifa is making muffins. The recipe uses half cup of flour and makes 12 muffins. Okay, means for 12 muffins how many cups of flour you need you need only half cup okay so how many cups of flour should khalifa use to make six muffins now you see here you need just to find the relation so this is 12 6 from 12 yes so it means this relation is half means if you divide 12 by 2 you will get 6 yes so here also you will have to divide by Two. So what you will get here 1 over 2 divided by 2 and what I have told you in my another videos that if you are dealing with the division of fractions then you will convert this division into the multiplication and that number after the division will be reciprocated. So it will be 1 over 4 cup. Okay, This will be the answer for this. Now next question can be this is Khalifa ha uh, Khalid had four cups of chocolate chips. He has a muffin recipe that calls for one over eight cup of chocolates per muffin. Means one over eight cups for one muffin. Okay. Just you need to read the question carefully only. That's all. Otherwise question is very easy for you. How many muffins can Khalid make? See, from 1 over 8 cups, he can make 1 muffin only. Yes, but from 4 cups, how many? Now you see, definitely he will make more muffins. Yes, so what you will do? For more, you will multiply 4 by 1 and then you will divide it by 1 over 8. Or what else you can do? You can do here, you, are, you find the ratio of 4 and 1 over 8 means how much how many times you will get for 1 over 8 and you will get the result 4 okay all the things are same it depends on you that how you are doing the calculation now this 1 over 8 it will go to the numerator okay means it will be 8 times 4 times 1 so I am not writing times 1 it will be 32 muffins okay so from 4 cups of flour he will make 32 cups of muffins okay like that also you can check 4 over 32 it will become 1 over 8 also so 1 over 8 is this one okay like this you can double check your answer now next question can be Haza is making why it is not erasing okay Haza is making vegetable soup his recipe makes 12 servings and uses 1 over 3 pound of peas how many pound of peas does he need to make six servings now you see for 12 servings he wants one over three pound yes so for six servings again you see what is the relation here if you divide 12 by 2 you will get six so here also you will have to divide by 2 to keep the same ratio yes so 1 over 3 divided by 2 means 1 over 3 times 1 over 2 and answer will be 1 over 6 servings. Oh, sorry, 1 over 6 pound. Okay. Now, next question can be, Saeed is dividing 4 pounds of gardening soil equally for four, 5 potted plants. You see, 4 pound and he is dividing equally in 5 potted plants so how many pounds of soil will be in each pot so in one pot how many five potted uh, five plants four pound so for one potted plant it will be less so it will be four over five pounds okay like this you can do the simple relation okay now this is also called unit ratio also okay now next question can be a zoo has 5 pounds of fruits and 3 pounds of lettuce to divide equally among 3 gorillas. How many total pounds of fruits and lettuce will each gorilla get? See, 
5 pounds. So first we will talk about pounds only. 5 pounds and 3 gorillas. 5 pounds among 3 gorillas. Yes. So one gorilla will get how much? One gorilla will get how much? 5 over 3 pounds of fruits. 5 over 3 pounds of fruit. Yes. And what else? 3 pounds of lettuce, lettuce. So this is one gorilla will get 3 over 3 means 1 pound of lettuce. Okay, like this simple you can divide the ratio, you can divide the numbers and you get the answer. Okay, next question can be a relay race is half mile long. How far does each person run if there are three persons in each team? See, total three persons, they are running half mile. Okay, so one person will run how much? One person will run, it's one third means one over two divided by three means one over two times one over three and it will be one over six miles. Okay. Like this you can get the answers easily. But make sure that you are caring, you are taking extra care for the fractions because no doubt in exam they will write the option if it is a multiple choice option. If they will write 3 over 2 also. They will write 6 also just to confuse you. Okay. So take care of the calculation. Now next question can be Shama is making 3 bags of trail mix. She has 1 over 5 pound of dries cranberries to divide equally among the bags how many pounds of dried cranberries will be in each bag okay now three bags and she has total for one over five pound yes so in one bag how much it will be it will be divided equally means one over five divided by three means one over five times one over three it means 1 over 15. Okay. So 1 over 15 pound of dry cranberries in each bag. Now next is. Saina brings 4 cakes to the bake sale. Each piece of cake is 1 6 of the whole. How many pieces of cake does she have? Write and solve the equation. Now see the question again. She brings 4 cakes to the bake sale. Okay, four cakes and each piece of cake, one cake has how many? This one, sorry, one cake is one over sixth of whole. So this will be, four cakes will be how much? It will be more. Yes, four cakes will be more. So what you will do here? Four divided by one over six. So this is four times six means 24 pieces of cakes okay like that also you can check you can check your answer also okay see 20 feet, 24 pieces total and one piece has how many one piece is one over sixth of whole so of one over six means multiply by six one over six so 24 divided by six means four so it will be four cakes which is here Okay, like this you can double check your answer. Now, next can be Hamud makes 60 cookies. He, divide, he divided the cookies equally among his 8 friends and kept the rest for himself. How many cookies did Hamud give his each friend and how many did he keep? Okay, this is the simple question of division. See, total he has how many? 60 and how many friends he has 8 so just divide it by 8 so it will be 8 times 7 56 remainder is 4 so each friend got how much each friend got that quotient this one okay so each friend got 7 cookies and he kept for him how many that remainder okay four cookies like this you can get the answer next question can be 
just pause the video and do the question yourself maybe uh, maybe and then after you match the answer okay sharina buys this piece of cheese she uses equally amount of it to make three sandwiches now see this is the amount of cheese one over four pound okay now she uses this equally amount of this to make three sandwiches it means this one over four is divided equally into three parts it means one over four times one over three means one over twelve okay so one over twelve pound on each sandwich now this question plot and label the point in the graph for each place shown in the table now playground i have told you in my another videos also that whenever you have ordered pair like this so first value is of x and second value is of y yes so where is 4 4 is here and 6 is where 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is 4 6 and what is the name name is playground okay name is playground now post office where 1 2 so x is 1 here and y is 2 here so this is 1 2 and this is post office okay fire station where 5 3 so 5 here 3 is here so this is power uh, sorry fire station okay next is jill's house where 2 and 4 here this is 2 4 and jill's house okay then library 3 2 3 2 here i am sure this you know everyone how to make the point because i have explained in my another videos also school where 4 3 4 here and 3 here so this is 4 3 and this is school next is canteen 5 4 so this is 5 value of x is 5 here and 4 here so 5 4 is the canteen okay and then bookshop at 0 0 so this is the point 0 0 and this is bookshop yes i'll write the coordinate here 0 0 next juice shop is 0 3 so value of x is 0 so no need to go on x you will go on y directly so it will be 0 3 here and this is juice shop and last laundry laundry at 5 0 so this is 5 and y is 0 so no need to go up this will be 5 0 and this is laundry okay like this you can do the question this question will be very easy for you but you will take care of the points firstly you will consider x and then you will go on y okay now next question can be use order of operations to calculate the following see just we have to follow the pemdas or board mass rule now this is 3 plus 7 multiply by 2 and you know in pemdas we multiply first okay so 7 times 2 is 14 14 plus 3 is 17 similarly here 3 plus 7 now it is written in the bracket so bracket p p means parenthesis hope you remember that pemdas rule this is pemdas rule p means parenthesis this is parenthesis okay so 7 plus 3 10 10 multiply 2 is 20 okay now here you see pem that's again so d comes first so 56 divided by 8 it is 7 minus 3 plus 2 multiply 5 is 10 now 7 minus 3 is 4 plus 10 means it is 14 now here you see this thing is written in the bracket so it will be calculated first so 56 divided by 8 minus 3 5 5 plus 2 times 5 again 56 divided by 5 plus 2 7 7 multiply by 5 and 56 divided by 35 i don't think so that okay no problem we can do it then comes division then 56 divided by 7 is 8 and 8 multiply 5 is 40 okay like this you can finish it now this one this involves the mixed fraction so you will have to be little careful with this 2 and 3 over 8 we'll do it after 
okay first let's finish with the other one plus now 1 and 1 over 4 means 1 times 4 plus 1 so 1 times 4 is 4 4 plus 1 5 over 4 times 6 times 4 24 24 plus 3 27 divided by 4 minus 1 over 2 so it will be what 8 times 2 16 16 plus 3 19 over 8 plus 5 times 27 it will be 5 7 is a 35 5 2 is a 10 and 3 13 over 16 minus 1 over 2 now you see we have 16 in denominator that is the biggest number so other denominator we will try to make it 16 so how you will make it multiply by 2 here multiply by 2 here multiply by 8 multiply by 8 so what it will be it will be 19 times 2 38 divided by 16 plus 135 divided by 16 minus 8 divided by 16 so what you will get here you see i'm just doing it little faster okay 38 minus 8 30 and 30 plus 135 165 divided by 16 but you will write it in the mixed fraction so 16 will divide 165 16 ones are 16 then 0 5 comes down not possible 0 so 0 and then 5 is the remainder so it, what it will be it will be 10 whole 5 over 16 this will be the answer okay now you see this number last question deals with the decimal points so you will have to be again careful multiply this will be added because they are written in the bracket so it will be 5 plus 5 10 7 2 9 and 1 10 6 3 9 and 1 10 divided by 2 so this is 5.8 multiply 10 divided by 2 is 5 5.8 multiply 5 is 5 heads are 44 carry forward 5 times 5 25 and 4 29 so its answer will be 29 okay hope my dear students you understood all these questions and i am sure you learned this uh, something from this part and ho hopefully you have understood everything and you will revise everything very nicely and i wish i pray that your exam will be very very good and all of you will get very good marks don't forget to see my videos if you missed something okay and if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge then please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also thank you